Despite economic downturns, some individuals and businesses seem to defy the odds and experience exponential growth. How do they do it? Hello everyone, welcome to today's video where we'll be discussing an interesting topic how some people and companies grow exponentially in a recession. As we all know, a recession is a period of economic downturn when the GDP declines for two consecutive quarters, leading to decreased consumer spending and lower profits for companies. However, some people and companies thrive during this period, growing exponentially. In this video, we'll explore why this happens and how they achieve such success. Number one, adaptability. One of the essential traits that help people and companies thrive during a recession is adaptability. During time economic times, businesses need to be flexible and willing to pivot quickly to meet the changing needs of their customers. They must also be willing to embrace change and take calculated risks. Adaptability is essential because it allows businesses to respond quickly to changing market conditions. For example, during the COVID-19 pandemic, many businesses had to pivot to online sales and services quickly. Companies that were quick to adapt to the changing market conditions were able to stay afloat and even thrive during the recession. Adaptability also allows businesses to identify new opportunities for growth. By staying flexible and open to new ideas, businesses can identify new markets or products that can help them grow during a recession. This can help them stay ahead of the competition and continue to provide value to their customers. Moreover, adaptability also helps businesses build resilience. By being able to adapt to changing circumstances, businesses can better handle future challenges and uncertainties. This can help them survive future recessions or other disruptions. Number two, strategic investments. During a recession, many businesses may be hesitant to invest in new projects or expand their operations. However, strategic investments can be an effective way to grow during tough economic times. Strategic investments can include investments in research and development, marketing, or new product or service development. By investing in these areas, businesses can identify new market opportunities, develop new products or services, and increase their market share. Strategic investments can also include investments in infrastructure, such as new equipment or technology. These investments can help businesses become more efficient and reduce their operating costs, which can increase their profitability. Moreover, strategic investments can help businesses position themselves for future growth. By investing in their business during a recession, businesses can build a strong foundation for future growth and success. Strategic investments can also help businesses take advantage of opportunities that may arise during a recession. For example, during a recession, businesses may be able to acquire other businesses at a lower cost, which can help them expand their market share. Number three, innovation. Innovation is another key factor that can help people and companies grow during a recession. By creating new products or services, developing more efficient processes, or implementing innovative marketing strategies, businesses can stay ahead of the competition and continue to provide value to their customers. During a recession, innovation is especially important because it allows businesses to identify new markets or products that can help them grow. For example, during the COVID-19 pandemic, companies like Zoom and Peloton were able to innovate and create products that people needed during the pandemic. These companies were able to identify new market opportunities and provide products that met the changing needs of their customers. Innovation can also help businesses differentiate themselves from their competitors. By developing unique products or services, businesses can create a competitive advantage that can help them attract and retain customers. Moreover, innovation can also help businesses reduce costs and increase efficiency. By developing more efficient processes or using new technologies, businesses can reduce their expenses and increase their profitability. Innovation is not just limited to product or service development. It can also be applied to marketing strategies. For example, during a recession, businesses can use innovative marketing strategies to reach new customers or increase their market share. Overall, innovation is a crucial factor that can help people and companies grow during a recession. By creating new products or services, developing more efficient processes, or implementing innovative marketing strategies, businesses can stay ahead of the competition and continue to provide value to their customers. Number four, reduce costs. Reducing costs is a critical factor for businesses to survive and grow during a recession. During an economic downturn, many companies struggle to maintain their profitability and cash flow. To counter this, companies need to evaluate their costs and identify areas where they can reduce their expenses. By reducing costs, companies can improve their bottom line and strengthen their financial position. One way companies can reduce their costs is by streamlining their operations. Companies need to identify areas where they can make their processes more efficient, eliminate waste, and reduce redundancies. They can implement lean manufacturing or Six Sigma methodologies to identify and eliminate waste, 
and reduce costs. By streamlining their operations, companies can optimize their resources and improve their productivity, which helps them reduce their costs and improve their profitability. Another way companies can reduce their costs is by negotiating with their suppliers. During a recession, suppliers may be willing to offer discounts or better payment terms to retain their customers. Companies can negotiate with their suppliers to get better deals, which can help them reduce their costs and improve their profitability. Companies can also reduce their costs by outsourcing some of their non-core business activities. Outsourcing can help companies reduce their labor and operational costs. For example, companies can outsource their IT, accounting, or customer service functions to a third-party provider which can help them reduce their costs and focus on their core business. Number five, diversification. Diversification is another important factor that can help people and companies grow during a recession. By diversifying their products, services, or markets, businesses can reduce their dependency on any one product or market, which can help them better weather economic downturns. Diversification can take many forms. For example, businesses can diversify their product lines to include a variety of products that appeal to different customer segments. They can also diversify their services by offering a range of services that meet different customer needs. Additionally, businesses can diversify their markets by expanding their customer base to include new regions or countries. Diversification can also help businesses reduce their risks. During a recession, some products or markets may be more affected than others. By diversifying their products, services, or markets, businesses can reduce their overall risk exposure Moreover, diversification can also help businesses identify new market opportunities. By diversifying into new product lines, services, or markets, businesses can identify new opportunities for growth and expansion. Diversification can be a challenging process, and it requires careful planning and execution. However, it can provide significant long-term benefits for businesses. Number six, cost cutting. Finally, cost cutting is an essential strategy for businesses looking to grow during a recession. During a recession, businesses may need to reduce their expenses to maintain profitability and cash flow. Cost cutting can take many forms. For example, businesses can reduce their workforce, reduce their marketing spend, or negotiate better terms with suppliers. They can also reduce their overhead costs, such as rent, utilities, and office supplies. However, cost cutting should be done strategically to ensure that it does not negatively impact the business's long-term growth and success. For example, businesses should be careful not to cut costs in areas that are critical to their core operations or customer experience. Moreover, cost cutting should be accompanied by efforts to improve efficiency and productivity. By improving their processes and operations, businesses can reduce their costs while maintaining their level of service and quality. Cost cutting can also provide an opportunity for businesses to reevaluate their operations and identify areas for improvement. By analyzing their expenses and processes, businesses can identify areas where they can make long-term changes to improve their profitability and competitiveness. Well, that's it for today's video. These are several strategies that people and companies can use to grow during a recession. By employing these strategies, businesses can position themselves for success, even during tough economic times. We hope you found this video informative. If so, then don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.